Welcome to UFC 229 Fight Week. I am joined by the lightweight champion of the world, Habib Nurmagomedov. We are finally here. Yeah. You sat down in this chair and you seemed happy that Fight Week is finally upon us. You know, we're waiting for this moment a long time. You know, now we're here. This is my first defend for my title and I'm very happy about this. Are you happy the fight's in Las Vegas or were you looking to have it in some sort of different location? Oh, I'm very happy. I, I like this place and this is very close to AK where I'm training last two months before fight. I'm lucky about this. I think I'm more lucky about like uh, I stay active, you know, because this is my third fight in the last nine months. And, you know, when I have injuries since 2014 to 2016, two years, I think about this, hey, when I don't have injured, I want to I wanna be stay active, you know, I want to fight every three, four months, you know. Now we're here, you know, no injuries, no nothing, feeling good, weight is good, and third fight is plus nine months. When you're young, you have to fight all the time because it's like when you're 30, when you're 29 years old, this is much different than when you're 35 or 37. Before we get into the fight itself, we saw you in New York a couple of weeks ago. What was that experience like for you? I, after press conference, I feel relaxed. I feel a little bit they tried to promote some alcohol or something like this, and I didn't like two things. I didn't like um, how they promote this alcohol and how Dana say, hey, where's Connor Bells? We have to tell Dana, hey, Max Holloway champion and Habib champion. Other thing is I'm good. I expect everything what they say. Did you notice anything from Connor during that or during your face off in particular that you're taking into this week? Yes, of course, I see he nervous because I don't go contact with him. I mean, you know, I ignore him. Of course, I'm not underestimate him, but when I go to the cage, I'm gonna show my best performance. We know you as a powerful grappler and wrestler. He is known to the world as a powerful striker. But are you looking at the matchup in those terms, striker versus grappler? No, no, I don't talk like this. You know, he, his grappling, I don't think he's, his grappling is very bad. But uh, if we talk about like heart conditioning, he didn't have this. You know, when you're tired, you cannot control nothing. You know, I have 10 fights in UFC. You guys can watch all fights. I never tired and I go forward all the time. And I think I feel a little bit people underestimate my striking game too because I all the time use my grappling, wrestling because I'm very good on this. And uh, like people think I'm only just wrestling or grappling guy. And you know, we have a couple surprise for him. And Saturday, Saturday night I'm gonna show this. In terms of this being five rounds, do you feel like the 25 minutes favors you? I feel like every minute, every second, second, I'm gonna beat him. This is not only about like round or second round, third round. I'm gonna control every second. How much do you feel like emotions come into play here? We obviously know all the things that happened that led up to this fight. Do you think throughout this week and then even inside that octagon that emotions are going to have something to do with the storyline? This is not only for title fight or my defend title, you know, it's a little bit personal, you know, it's a little bit personal than just fight. Mm. Of course I'm emotional too, but I have to control this. And even if I say right now in front in front of your face, hey, I'm good, but I know you're gonna you're gonna wait, okay, we're gonna say this guy go inside his head or no? Even if I say no. And that's why we will see, we have to wait Saturday night. And that's why this fight is very interesting for people, for fans, you know, this is same time this is money fight, same time it's very interesting fight, same time it's like very personal fight, you know. And uh, that's why I think it's gonna be broke paper record in your sister. Do you like the amount of attention that is on this fight? Is it something you ignore? Is it something you feel like you thrive in? Attentions all the time come bigger and bigger when you keep winning, you know. I'm undefeated 26 and all. Nobody in this game have like this record and like my coach Javier said to me, hey, if you don't want to come, there come, or like people come, friends come, you have to lose. Just lose and nobody come. Right? And I think, okay, okay, I don't want to lose, coach. If you don't want to lose, you have to understand this is part of the, this business, part of the, this game, yeah, that's why. And you have to follow everything like perfectly. 
What are you expecting Connor's approach to this fight to be? I think he tried to be away from me because he cannot wrestle with me 25 minutes. How he can wrestle with me if Beer cannot wrestle with me <laughs> <laughs> all 25 minutes? That's why they have plan. I think like just fight with distance, kick, punch. Like Dosanios, Barbosa, a lot of good guys who have very good kicks kick me, but I'm okay for all this. And number one thing, we not underestimate this guy. I'm gonna fight like very smart, don't rush, relax, stay relaxed, move, you know. I'm ready for this. When you envision the fight in your head, what are you seeing? Are you seeing it going all 25 minutes? Are you seeing a quick finish? Or do you kind of envision all scenarios? No, this is what I want, like wait, like, maybe end of the neck, like second round. I'm very excited about this, like how is fight going on and because I'm gonna give him very good pressure and you know, make him tired. Like when he tired, I, I wanna talk with him, you know, inside the cage. You have to give up. Like you know how I talk. <laughs> yes, I've been cage tied and, and, and have heard you. And you know, most important for me, what I want, I wanna make him tired. Do you feel like this is going to be a rivalry for years to come or do you feel like this fight is going to be the one that puts it to bed? I feel like I'm gonna dominate him because I know he followed me a long time. Of course, I follow his fights a long time, you know. When I watch his old fights, it's like a couple of fights when you fight a little bit more than one round, they have problem like Mendes, like Diaz or when you move to box. But he tap already, he tap four times. Like number five, it's not a problem for him, you know, because he already have money, no motivation, you know. His legacy is money. My legacy is smash. Smash it. This is my legacy. Well, this is going to be an incredible main event. Habib, we appreciate your time. Best of luck to you. We'll be with you throughout this week. Can't Thank wait. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.